If you asked me to pick one moment where things took a turn for the worse, it would probably be this moment. It was an early Sunday morning and I was getting back to base after getting some supplies. I had secured one of the best base locations on Deer Isle, an underground base, and everybody wanted to live here. Although this was a popular spot, for the past few hours things were very quiet, and there was a certain energy in the air. It was as if I was being watched. Fully expecting some type of attack, I patiently waited and waited, listening for the unmistakable sound of a C4 beeping at my door. But to my surprise, nothing ended up happening. Just another quiet night. Or at least that's what I thought as I was sitting in bed about to go to sleep, but it turns out that we had some unexpected visitors stop by the base later that night. You know, I expected this to happen, but I didn't think it would happen so fast. We were only on day one of the wipe. Who would have C4 this quickly and know exactly where I live? Was I followed back home? Did I somehow get spotted here? Or was this a coincidence? I wasn't sure, but what I did know was that my base was destroyed and I lost everything. <laughs> This single action would spiral into a series of deadly events, and it would also result in me building one of the best and most hidden bases that I've ever constructed. And to explain what really happened, I'm gonna have to go back and start from the very beginning. So, let's take a step back a few days. Alright boys, welcome to a new Daisy adventure. And we're back on Deer Isle, and today I'm playing with the OGs. I'm playing with Dozing Chopper, Baba, and Nev. And whenever we team up, crazy stuff happens. So I feel like we're about to go crazy. I don't know though, I don't know, I don't know. They're gonna load in. Server just wiped a few minutes ago as well. So we're going into this fresh. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be crazy, honestly. Like, I'm actually kind of excited to play DayZ. Uh, so let's see where we spawn. We're at Asheville. Stonington is south. I wanna get loot as fast as possible. And I'm tempted to run towards airfield, get some gear, and then maybe head towards Paris Island where there's a lot of good gear there too. Maybe we do that while the boys log in. And then I'll meet up with them after. Oh, I see a guy in the grocery store. I'm pretty sure he went down to these barracks over here. Oh, yep, he's in front of me. Get over here. I'm coming. There's a frightened soul fighting in front of me. I think they only have pistols. I might be able to make a play. Uh, they're in like the radar building. Yeah. Like one or two maybe. I'm gonna heal though. Here we were on a new wipe and I had just gotten my first kill. New wipes on DayZ are the most exciting times because everybody starts off on an even playing field and most of the fights are smaller caliber which tends to be a lot more fun. I knew things at the airfield were about to get really hectic so I quickly looted this guy, grabbed his pistols and a few of the other things he had looted and then I made my way over to the outpost to meet up with the boys. I'm at Trader. Once everybody was at the outpost, we took a look at our map and decided on a course of action. The decisions we made now could play a big role in the weeks to come, so we had to be smart here. It got dark fairly quick and we ended up deciding on going towards Paris Island to get some higher tier weapons and armor. How are we gonna kill this guy? I can't see shit. We'll smell him. Oh, there's a light, light, light. Who's oh. shooting? Making a beat down here. He got murdered. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. Shoot him. Where is he? Come here, boy. Back in. Oh, he's a rifle. He's, he's it. He's a rifle. He's a rifle. Is he dead? He's, is he dead? Get his rifle. Get his rifle quick. Turn on the flare. Yo, no, he's right here. He's right here. He's right here. Where is he? He's he is? Oh, not bad, big man. <laughs> he won't come at three three stooges looting them. Oh yeah, 75k. Honestly, should we go put the 75 up just so we have it? Probably. It seemed like an impossible task, but we managed to take down a guy with an AS Valen armor using only our pistols. This gun would take us a long way, especially this early on wipe, but more importantly, the cash we took off of him would give us a massive boost. Once we stored all of this cash, we carried on our route southwest. Oh, sh I didn't even know this goes down. Yeah, what this goes fuck? down, bro. It looks sick as fuck. So people that sealed this up have like a giga base. Yeah, they stack it, dude. Like the biggest groups usually live here. 
all tier three stacked. It's huge. Yeah, this this place is good. Easy to block too. Like the initial entryway is not hard. Oh to yeah, yeah, just all you have to do, yeah. And you can't even raid it if there's a ladder, bro. Good luck raiding that. Like, how are you gonna even push this unless you jump? But do we want to take it? I don't know. Coming into this adventure, we had vastly different plans for where we wanted to build, but we saw that the spot was so good and it was completely open for the taking. With that in mind, we decided to try and board this up instead. Now back to our Paris Island mission, we did end up going over there and we ran into two other guys which we killed, but I also ended up getting shot in the back by friendly fire, but it wasn't a big deal, I just ran back and grabbed my gear. From here we made our way down south to the large town of Stonington to look for the supplies that we would need to board off this base. Oh! That's to the right, but I see one on, see one on the boat. We gotta put this guy down. He'll be looking out onto the coast. We just come up behind him, right? Easy. Yeah, easy. Is there, isn't that shot right there? Good kill. Oh, dear. Someone's running into the ship right now. Uh, it looks naked, though. Yeah. Really? He's crawling. Like, I, I, I can try to hit him. He's looting right now. Oh, yeah, Sin. Killed him. Good kill, good kill. Wait, these guys have some stuff on them, bro. Oh my Shit. god, just got the fuck out of good? Yeah, there's a guy just he's watching y'all naked. I'm gonna loot him though. Dog tags sell for money and we need money. As expected on the first day of wipe, the south coast was total carnage. But because we went to Paris Island first, we had decent armor and weapons, which let us kill pretty much anyone we encountered, leaving us with all of their valuable dog tags and other good gear we found along the way. With all of this stuff, we could now head back to outpost and sell, and then head back out for a brand new run. Our next run took us south to a military base that we had the key for. There was a locked crate here, and if we opened it, there was a good chance that there was some very useful supplies inside. Oh, that's okay. Uh, you know what? That's actually pretty good. Like, that's not too bad. Man, I can't take you seriously with the shorts. <laughs> dude, I'm like looking freeze. sick right now. That's such a New Zealand outfit, dude. Turn around for me real quick. What? This is your whoa, favorite whoa, DJ whoa, YouTuber, whoa. guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Dudes in capris. <laughs> <laughs> what the f Who's shooting? I, sh I just killed a guy. He's he stuck up on you guys. Let's see what he has. Uh, oh, yeah, some barter stuff. He has like an ADAR on his back. Around 10 minutes later, we heard a plane fly overhead, and we looked up and saw an airdrop coming in right over Stonington. Go, 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 go! Oh. M4s, oh. reckon? Wow. Big M4 gamers. Okay, okay. Could be juice. And they're in the tree line. I don't know if y'all can see my ping. They're on the other side of the road, yeah. I'm getting up in this little apartment building watching the drop. Yeah, good call, good call. One's about to be on it, boys. Yeah, 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 I'm watching. He's still kill He's got zombies on him. He's, he's gonna go for it. He's hit. No, he's not hit. Oh my god. He lagged like when he got to it. Yeah, he froze. I, I conned him. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Yeah, I see. You finish. You finish. There's you another finish. one. He hit him. He's, he's hit. Drilled him. He's on con. Nice, 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 nice. Geared. It's a base building drop. I got nails. No way. Good luck. I can't oh fit anything. Oh my god, so huge. I'm coming. I have some room. Oh, sledge. That's a raid tool. That's a raid tool. Two, two raid tools. Two sledges. Yeah, yeah. It's huge. It's yeah. huge. Oh, oh. He's in the woods. In the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out. I'm running. I got him. Good job, good job. I'll finish him. I think he's uncon. <laughs> to our luck, this was a base building airdrop, and we found one single box of nails inside. This was the last piece we needed to seal off the base. After this hard fought battle, we would make our way over to the underground location, hoping that nobody beat us to it. That us? I think I just killed another one. Maybe. Was he good? Uh, he had like a vest. I, I think I killed him. 
Oh, that's fine. It goes towards a challenge, but like a task. All good. That's the come up we needed to get the base. All right, let's get uh, settled. I think we build it like down the ladder. Like if we build it at the like bottom of the ladder here, it doesn't really matter. What the territory? Yeah. All right, let me go down there. Let's see. Doesn't this keep going down further though? Yeah, it goes um way way far. Oh wow, there's water. It can set up the fish farm. Literally, yeah. Oh, bro, this is the best fish farm I'll ever make. <laughs> there we go. Put uh, I put Baba's flag on there too. Oh. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Fantastic. Our wipe was off to a fantastic start. We were able to board off one of the best spots on Deer Isle, and we also had a few hundred thousand in cash and two sledgehammers that we could use to raid with. The next priority would be to gate stack the base, but to do that, we would need nails, and as you guys usually know, nails are impossible to find, especially on this type of server. With this in mind, we made our way back out into the world to see if we could get some more airdrops. Bless your guy. What? Coming in from the east, two guys, where the hay bales are, in the field, next to the okay. airdrop. East to the okay. airdrop. No, 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 three guys, three guys, three guys. He just vaulted the fence. He's going to be at the airdrop in about a minute. No, like 10 seconds, actually. What? what? That's a big difference. Yeah, no, no, they're right at the airdrop now. There's four guys. They got zombies on them? Are you trolling or is there actually people there? No, no, there's people. Get shot. No, 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 there's, there's, there's literally three guys. Oh, shit. Four guys. One dead. One, no, he's hit. No, he's, not, he's hit. That's a tank. Got me, got me. Yeah. Oh, he's still no, 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 I'm no. about to WK him. Where are they? Where are they? You get him? No! There's fucking There's five million me. zombies here! What's going on, bro? I'm shooting zombies. One's on con, I think. Oh, I'm hit, I'm hit. Dead. Good shit. There's one sniping way back, fellas. One's geared, we're coming yeah. up from behind right now. Mine? I hit him. Yeah, I hit him. What? Pushing back. Where's he at the house? Uh, he's dead. He's not caught out in the field. Nice, nice, nice. They have like white armbands on or some shit. The one's still in the field. Uh, left side of the road. Chopper, one's to the left, I think. Yeah, yeah, in the house or something. Oh, to my left side. Yeah, yeah, there's one at the log, log house, log house. He's dead, he's dead. Nice, nice. How many did we just kill? A lot. Yeah, there's two. Another guy in the haystack! He's not in here. He's not here. Yeah, he He's leaving on the haystack! Oh, yeah, I see him. He's running, he's running, he's running. You hit him! He's, he's dead! Good shots. Wow, this blows. Yeah, that was really bad. That stinks. Uh. <laughs> that stinks. A shotgun and an airdrop? Come on now. We could do better than that. The airdrop was awful, and after we went to collect the bodies of the team that we had killed. We were pretty sure that we knocked five people to the ground, but we only found four bodies, which meant that somebody most likely snuck away and they could have a lot of good loot. We had to figure out where the lone survivor ran off to. Well, like, we no. we injured him, like, right on this corner of the fence in between me and, uh, is that no? He's on the field, straight ahead! Where, where, where? Oh, He's got no. a bag in his hand! Straight in front of Chopper, running. You're gonna have a good yeah. shot on him, Shrek. Oh. In the log cabin. This one down here at the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Look. Hey, buddy. So right in denial, otherwise you die. Oh, hell. GG's, man. Yeah. Yeah, G GG's. What's Stick going up, on, buddy? Put him up. Put him up, feller. I want, I want that gold wrist watch. I want everything you got. Right now. Don't fucking move, cocksucker. I got you, man. I'm gonna kill these guys. There's Rambo. Rambo, is that your team out Do there? You speak, brother. You speak, brother. What? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? What's you guys go by? I ain't got a clan name. <laughs> How I many think of we there? named it Uwu. There's three of put, us. Put a bullet in his head right now. Put a bullet in his head. No, please, man. No, I'm not like this. All right, man. You know what? Hey. You seem like a nice guy. If you answer this math question, I'll let you live. Wait a minute. Is that? 
Uh, Dodo Toe. Okay, okay. No, no, guys, Matter please, of fact, uh, we got a better question for you. Go ahead and uh, ask him. Uh... Uh, first of all, uh, oh, before uh, no. my brother gets to another question, uh, how about you tell me any bases located in the area, huh? Who set up shop? Where's a base you know about? You get to live. I actually haven't seen any bases yet this way. Hey, what's up? Hey, new guy. I need the names of your group members, and I need them now. Go on. Nice. Or the Uwu clan. Man, yeah, I, yeah, names. Yeah, the names. Individual, Individual names. Really. What the names? Quick. Nah, I ain't a snitch. You about You're to be about a dead to snitch, dead, then, I said, you better speak it up, man. Speak up. Dude. Speak up. Get up against the wall. Get against the fucking wall. Who you walking up on? I ain't, I ain't right that no more, boy. I ain't like I that. I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. But you know what? We asked you a fucking question, cocksucker. And I'm about to upgrade my quest in about three seconds if you don't start speaking. Listen, I, I ain't ratting around. around. It's as simple as that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you like beans for breakfast? Nah, no beans. Oh, oh what are you doing? No, he's on our side. You murder. He deserves it. He deserves it, man. Beans are good. Beans are good. You fucking murdered him. <laughs> beans for breakfast is good. We were hoping this guy would give us some information about other bases in the area that we might be able to raid and get nails out of, but he didn't cooperate too much. Since there were no bases that we could online, it looked like we were going to have to get our nails and other supplies the hard way by going out to the islands to hit some key rooms. So we went back to base, grabbed our cash, and made our way towards the boat trader. Oh, he's right in the field, right here. Look. Can we fucking yeah, hold him up, bro? He's not going to pistol. Oh, yeah, we should. Hey, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Stand still, no. motherfucker! Stand still! Uh, motherfucker! Right. Fucking move, don't move! Stick him up! Get up in the woods! Keep walking into the woods! Keep walking into the woods! Walk into the woods, the walk into the woods <laughs> now! Walk into the Just woods! Just fucking get it over with, boys! Just walk into the woods! Eh? What are you doing? Oh, I should have broke his leg. Yeah, I was trying to break his leg, bro. <laughs> my guy, my guy just aimed for the fucking head. Hell no, I'm getting the fucking that. Get that TV course. armor, man. Uh, the fastest one is the drag, the drag boat, from my experience. Wait a minute. There's a guy. There's uh -oh. a guy. Watermelon. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of geared. He's coming right towards us. He's on the dirt road. He he came out of the watermelon house and he went left. Oh, he's, he's running right, right, right towards us. He got hit. Where is he? Behind the hut. He's, he's going left. Guys. Like 50 meters, 20 meters. Is he a watermelon? One's in the watermelon. One's he closed the door. He closed the door in watermelon. It might be him. I hit him. Oh, he's running he's out. He's running out. Down, down, down. Nice. Good. Who is this? Zedski. I don't know what that is. A lot of stuff on him. The only keys we had right now were to the prison island located in the far east. This place had a bunch of locked crates, and they were usually pretty decent. If we could get nails out of these, we'd be set for the night. There is another crate right here. Oh, me. yeah, there's a crate here as well. So I guess there's multiple crates. Ooh. Uh, why are you making that sound, man? But he didn't even wait. Wow. Oh. Holy sh... That is delightful. Look on the ground! That's why you couldn't pick it up! <gasps> Oh, please tell me it's Christmas. Oh, oh it's Christmas. Ah, uh, well, I say it's Hanukkah. Nah, three, three. Oh, stuck a C4. At the prison island, we didn't find any nails, but I guess you could say we found things that were far better, including C4 and higher tier weapons. But I still wanted the nails so that we could seal off the base because I knew something bad was about to happen overnight. Anyways, it was getting pretty late now, so we had to all get offline, and we went back to base to do one final walk around, and wait around to see if anybody would show up now that we were home, but it seemed pretty quiet. How about a log out for the night? Uh, pretty solid day, we got a little bit of PvP here and there, you know, combined we got a lot of kills, but I think I only got like 3 or 4 kills, but uh, the base is looking good, it might get offline, might not, this is a server known for uh, people offlining, so it's a good chance we get hit. But if we don't, and we get more resource to, resources tomorrow, well, we could do some good things with this base. I got some plans. I want to make the underground fish farm. Because fish sells for a good amount of money. Like, they nerfed, like, tomatoes and shit. But fish still goes for a lot. And uh, let's just say down here, 
<laughs> this may be the best spot for underground fishing. He's in quiet. And it also functions as a little, you know, little pool. But yeah, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Right now, we, uh, we just got our little bed down to storages. And things are looking okay. I'll update you guys with what happens once I log back in. Good night. Ah, another day, another dollar. And you guys would not believe what I'm about to tell you. We got offline. I know, shocker. Now, we knew we were going to get offline, but uh, the boys got on a bit earlier than me. You know, they fixed the place up. I don't think they took our storages, honestly. We still have most of our stuff. Uh, but yeah, they did offline us and take a decent amount. But like I said, I got on a bit late today. So the boys, they uh, patched the place up. They got a greenhouse. And uh, they put another gate on top. So, like, the base is still fine. They didn't really get much off of us, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, that's where we are right now. I don't know who raided us. I really don't know. Like, we have ideas, but we really don't know. We have no proof or anything like that at the moment. But, uh, yeah, at least we didn't lose the base. You know, it could have been a lot worse. Definitely could have been worse. Day two was off to a pretty rough start. We got offline raided, and they took a lot of our stuff, including our boat, which was probably the most important thing that we had. We needed this to get around the map fast, and it would make us a lot of money, so we had to go get another one. But the good thing about this was that if we could find where our boat was, then that was a good chance of us finding where the raiders lived. Now, you might be thinking it's going to be almost impossible to find our boat on an island like Deer Isle. The map is massive, and there's a ton of different islands where people could park at, but you see i had an idea of who may have raided us the first clue i could work off of was the time of this raid we were online for about eight to nine hours during the day and nobody ever showed up to online us but the second we got off in the late morning they showed up this was characteristic of one specific person on this server and for now we're just gonna call him jake to give you some backstory last wipe i had been playing on this server to record my tower base video and my friend cross and i stumbled upon this jake character at his base out east we had fought this guy and killed him but we ended up dying afterwards ever since that moment we had heard his name in traders and it seemed like he was known for being a chronic offliner he would fly around in his helicopter and hit the smallest bases even if nobody was in them as a matter of fact even when i was doing a video on Trenaris, somebody walked up to me in the safe zone and told me that i should raid this guy he was well known on all of the servers well, long story short, let's cut back to the present. If this Jake guy was playing this new wipe, then there's a good chance he was the guy that offlined us, but we wouldn't know for sure unless I went back to where he built last wipe to see if he built there again. And if we found our very same boat outside of his base, that would all but confirm it, and this would turn into a tale of revenge. But first, we needed proof, and that would be finding our boat. All right, let's do it. You went for bright red, man? What's going on? Yeah. Lucky red. You already know. Lucky red. Where's the cave exactly? It's like somewhere east of, maybe like northeast of Oceanville, I think. I remember last time I zipped over here, like with this boat on my last wipe. And it was like over here somewhere. Like it's past Fisher's camp for sure. Just keep going. See, last time there was an armored car right there to the right. Like it was like the floating one. Oh, yeah. Then I heard the helis coming from the cave. I ran over there and I fucking see them running in and out of their uh, base. Honestly, is it here? Nah, maybe not. It's it's this way. It's this way for sure. It's here. It's here on me. It's definitely here on me because um, these rocks are too flat. Oh, there's a flagpole sticking out. It took some time to find this location because, like I said, I hadn't been here since last wipe, which was weeks ago. But we eventually found it, and it looked like somebody was living there. But that didn't mean that this was Jake. He could have based at a completely different spot, if he was even planning this wipe at all. If our boat was somewhere in this area, though, we could be pretty sure that it was him, because he would be one of the very few people on the server to have the resources to raid on day one. There's a boat there. Oh, yeah. Is that a boat? That's our boat. That's our boat. Will that key work on it, even if they lockpick it? Uh, unless they reset it. They could reset it. Kill me. I have to kill me. Okay. You want to test it? That's how we'll know for sure, dude. It's weird that they pack it here, though. Not that base, but whatever. It's like they're hiding it almost, right? Like far away from where... Yeah, I mean, it's... It's, uh... It's unlocked. Looks oh, like they're so they lockpick and didn't even add a new key to it. How did f***er know we lived there, man? That's what I'm saying, bro. 
Like I said, I know it's a popular spot, but like, come on. Now, out of all yeah. the bases they hit, buddy just so happens to hit ours. You want to grab a boat? And it's at his base. How much fuel is in that, Bubba? It's pretty much like three quarters. How much? Like three quarters. That's our boat. That's our boat. That's what we had yesterday. <laughs> That's literally our boat, bro. The exact amount of fuel we had. I remember yesterday. That's what we had. That's kind of fucked, actually. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Like, I, I think he's got an admin in the back pockets and stuff. This boat had the exact same fuel level as the one that was taken from us, and it was left completely unlocked, which is not a common occurrence if you buy a boat. We found it just south of the base, and the base itself also had tier 2 doors, which was pretty hard to get on day 1 of Wipe. On top of that, this guy magically knew exactly where we lived, and he even picks the perfect time to offline us. All of this didn't really sit right with me, I thought there was more to the story. But right now, I couldn't really prove anything. For now, all we could do is take back our stolen boat and head back to base. We were about 90% sure that this location was Jake's home, but if we wanted to revenge raid him, we were going to need a lot more supplies. So, we made our way towards Paris Island to do some looting and get some PvP. Oh, there's first. a guy in front of me! Really? I see him, I see him. Yep, he's on the train tracks. He vaulted the wall. I hit oh, him. he got you hit him in the legs. He must have a broken leg, bro. See a guy, uh, east, east. He's aiming at me. Blue shirt. He's geared. East at the train track. How close? East? Like right where I'm looking, right where I'm aiming if someone sees me. Yeah, okay. I got you, I got you. How close? He's running right. I hit him. I hit him. One's on the other side of him. One dead. I think one's in this barrack. No? He's holding no, the back. Dead, 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 dead. dead. He's dead. He's dead. Holy f What the fuck? He's dead. What the, what the hell? hell? They got the 20 man here. How many people are here? Oh, they did a full loot run here, fellas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! Is there more? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's on the corner. Yeah, it's somewhere. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Him. What the fuck, bro? How many people are here? Whoa. Oh, my God. Pray the Lord. Pray the Lord. Pray the Lord. What pray do we got Lord. in there, man? We need heavies. Oh. I mean... Oh. That, uh, it's not what we wanted to see. Uh, yeah, but that is kind of garbage. That's, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> bad. Someone's shooting down here. Oh, to the east? It's, it's on the bridge. Surprised. Yeah, it's not surprised. I can probably see him here. I see him. There's two guys. Uh, right in front of me. They're on the train tracks coming towards me, like right below me. Fuck, yeah. Just let him he's up. He's walking. He's up. walking. We can get free killed, Bubba. Yeah, I'm running up. Have one. Oh, he's got Diva. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm about to be behind these guys. They're hurt though. We got them, I think. Here. Yeah, he's running. He's running. Where's he running? Hit one. One dead. Nice. Yeah, one drop. They're in the long grass, like just below me. Is he running away or is he? Just... Oh no, he's on our right, 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 right. He ran right. He's on you. Look around. Look around. Somewhere. Look around. Oh, I'm looking. Oh, there's two more. There's two more then. Okay. See another one. They're in the woods. They're in the woods, yeah. Headshot one. Uh, there should be dead. Is. No, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's good. Good armor. I see him running. One's running. Yeah, I didn't hit him. Two running. Two running. Why are they hey. running? Uh, Up the hill. North, 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 north. Towards tower. Hit one. He didn't die. They're juicers. Hit him again? You, you gotta be dead, surely. Are running towards him? Yeah, yeah, to the right a little bit. Slightly to the right. Close. Close tree. He's dead. Both dead. Yeah. There's another one in this tree right here. Might have to nice heal. Boys. Yeah, level 5 armor on this guy. I need one more kill. I'm at 10. Nice. Who just shot? Oh, I see you guys, I see you guys, see you guys, up, 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 the, up the hill. Uh, at the barbed wire fence. He's going like, I don't know, like south? East? Is he near he's south, south. He's going south-ish. Okay. He's like a big bag. I see him right now. You can see his white bag right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, right by me. Two of them. Oh, yeah, I see him, see him, see him. I see him. Uh, three of them, three of them. 
I can shoot one now. I can shoot one now. Yeah, How far away? Just do it. You have 338, yeah. right? You have 338? Yeah, yeah, I got 338. Yeah, just go crazy. And... Yeah, they're in the woods, sir. They're going, they're going on the peninsula. Oh, bad. You need, to push him. you need yeah. to keep pushing them. Yeah, yeah, someone push them through the woods. I am. I just got hit. One of y'all's got to shoot at him. 77, 77, you got yeah, another one. One's on I'm the rock you. on the right side, one's in the trees, like middle. One dead, full dead. Nice, nice, nice. This guy's aiming on the right yeah. side. I shot that. Second nice. dead. Nice, nice. Oh, boat! Found the boat right here! Yeah, yeah. He's gotta be close. He's gotta be close then. So they gotta be somewhere over here. And helmet? Probably. On me, on me! Hit him! What? Oh, he slammed him. He slammed him. He's dead. He's uncon. Wait, he's uncon. Should we resuscitate him? Time up, time up! I don't got nothing to time up. What's up, Pac? Second, don't reach for nothing! What's your name? Bait Jake! <laughs> oh no. This is CK Savage. CK Savage. Take the mag. Yeah. Oh, tier 5 armor. This was our first encounter with none other than Jake. This is the same guy we've been talking about this whole time, and it looked like he was alive and well on the server, and he was even using a boat to get around. Taking his gear and boat was slight revenge, but this battle was only getting started, and he wasn't gonna be happy that we did this if he found out. Next, we shifted our focus to getting more gates up for our base. We had been playing for two days, and we had won countless fights, hit a bunch of airdrops, and opened a bunch of locked crates. But yet, we only found one box of nails this entire adventure so far. It was getting to be quite annoying, so we got into our boat and went west to the islands to hit the large industrial area over there. We spent a few hours looting the entire northwestern side of the map, but we really didn't find any nails or anything else for building for that matter, not even sheet metal. At this point, things were out of our control and we just had to go back home and log out because it was getting quite late. I thought Jake might come and try to online us because we stole his boat, but he never showed up. But if we knew anything about this guy, he would only do the raid if it was three or four in the morning, hours after we were asleep. Take a wild guess what happened at the ass crack of dawn when nobody was on the server. Yup, you guessed it right. Big Jake came over at probably 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. and offlined us once again. At this point, we expected this to happen, but this time once we logged in, we noticed something strange. Chopper had logged outside for the night, and when he got back on early, he noticed that there was a car parked outside. He thought that we were the ones that bought it. But once he got towards the entrance of our base, he saw two characters sitting in the doorway. They tried fighting them and managed to do some damage to one, but he ran back into the school where they pushed him, and of course his gun jams, so he dies. He respawned and looted another gun and went back to investigate what went down, and when he got there he figured out that somebody was living out of our base. It's hard to explain this all now, but long story short, our base did end up getting offlined by Jake, as we would later learn. But these guys that were living here, they weren't involved with Jake. They were a completely separate group that saw the empty spot and decided to board it off. This wasn't the end of the world because remember, we were logged out inside and we would later on log in and clear out the base, dismantling anything that these new guys had built. It seemed like this group was led by a person named Shrimp. And when Baba ran into him in the safe zone trader, he was talking crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you to the edge of the Is earth. Is that Bianna? I'm gonna kill you over and over, and I'm gonna take the nails off your fucking wall. Every single base that you build, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be your shadow. I'm gonna be yeah, your man. shadow for the rest of the wipe. Remember my name. Remember me. Shrimp wanted us to remember his name, and so we would. I guess the story gets a bit more complex now though, because at first we only had Fat Jake as our main enemy, but now we have Shrimp's group that is also going to be one of our targets, and we're going to have to deal with both of them appropriately. For now, we were going to relocate to a new base location since it was clear that none of these guys had any intention of online raiding us, and we were tired of getting offline at 4am. And this new location was going to be almost impossible to find. Oh, what is this? This shit's getting found. Oh, yes it is, but we'll move after. So 
So I'm gonna quickly skip you through this next part because it's not too important. But basically we dug into the ground and set up an underground base. It was really tiny and we couldn't fit much in it, but this was only temporary. The real base wouldn't be built until later on. And when we do that, I'll show you more details. Now that we had a secure spot where we could store our gear and not worry about it being found, we turned our attention towards Shrimp's base. We had first ran into him trying to take over our base and we thought that he must live nearby. And after doing some searching, we found another underground base only a thousand meters from where our original base was. Since we had some C4 left over, we decided to try and hit it and see if this was indeed where he lived. Clear. Let me in. Let me in. Easy there, Luke Goblin. Oh, tier three, GG's. I'm stacked. Wait a minute now, chat. What are these names? Hold uh, up. <laughs> Let me look for oh, Bobby's name in here. I don't know these guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's not speak too soon. Let's just one I'm by not. one, one by one. Oh no. This base took us most of the day to do because we had to keep running back and forth to get extra C4s from events. And in the end, we didn't really profit, but we got a few raid tools back. Unfortunately, this was most likely not Shrimp's base because he would have been here if it was. And the second thing was that he had a far bigger group, meaning he would have far more supplies if this was his home. But at least we got this base out of the way, and now we could turn our attention to Jake. On the way to Jake's base, we ran into him at the safe zone, and he had a few words for us. You took your base four times. First of all, you never raided kill. me, and second, why are you flexing an offline raid? Plus, this guy's with a chopper, What's going on with that? shitter or whatever. Oh, so it was you. We never idiot. said if it was offline. Wait, wait, what? So yeah, thanks for the chopper cases, dog. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks for, for the weapon case. these camera uh, dads can summon over We made you live in the motorhome. We made this man live in the motorhome no. whole wipe, dude. I've never lived in a fucking motorhome. <laughs> Not only were these guys delusional and making up random situations that never happened, but you can see they were pretty confident. It was really easy to talk like this in the safe zone, but let's see how they would react when we caught them outside of this place. Oh. Oh. You got shot at, right? Yeah. yeah. Where are they? I see him opposite rocks. Oh, you hit him. Me. Nice. Hit him twice. He's, he's, he's down. 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 One, he's finished, one he's lower down. One lower down. I hit see him. him. There's two. There's two. He's hurt. Like... Killed one. Outside. There's one more right where he killed him. Right where he killed he, him. He's one in. He just went in. No, there's one on the hill. One on the hill. Hit him. He's dead. 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 Full dead. Full dead. Full dead. Yeah, this is him. This is him. How many did we kill? Three? Three, yeah. Uh, injured no, two, key. and then injured one. He's opening doors, but I think he's probably gonna run in. I'm watching it. This time around, we were lucky enough to catch Jake and his friends outside their base. And we also got some information about the inside. We could hear him close a good amount of doors, meaning that this thing was pretty decently gate stacked. How did he get all these nails and supplies? I wasn't sure because we had been grinding for a few days and we couldn't even build half the amount of doors that we heard in there. But uh, I guess he found a way. Anyways, it looked like he had one of our boats parked outside, which further confirmed that he was the one that offlined us the second night in a row. And we took this back. This was only the beginning of our war with this group, and we were not going to settle until his base was destroyed and he was gone from the server. After we left their base, we did some island hopping in the darkness, hoping to find some locked crates with C4 inside. Wait, where does this key even go to? This uh, big tower. That zombie right here. It's here. It's here. It's probably up there. It's gotta be here. Oh my god, they just did it. Yeah, I literally just did it. Look out, we're gonna see him. We're gonna see him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He has to go through prison, like around prison. Watch for zombie aggro. Unless he's ratting. How did he get down? And not, we don't see him. I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. This way, this way, come here, come here. Where I'm aiming, at that corner right there behind this tree. I see him, I see him, Full I see geared. him. Full geared, Move, move, move. You're gonna get shot on the side. He's at the gate behind this big ass Christmas tree. Oh, he's walking, see. hit him. Hit him again. Hit him again. Somebody else he's hit down, him. He's down, he's down, he's down, he's down. Somebody I, run, I somebody run down. down. I'm, I'm watching it. Somebody run down there. I'm pushing, I'm pushing, hold it. Yep, he's laying here gracefully. Oh, oh, another guy. Where is he? What? I don't know. I, I just heard snaps, snaps. 
Do you see him now? Uh, He's hit like four times, four times, pushing. Is he in the grass? Is he intense? Yeah, is he yeah, intense? Right side, right side, right side, right side of where I'm running now. Pushing with you, pushing with you. The other guy. At the army, literally on top I'm coming, of him. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. I hit him a bunch, he's trying to run. Yeah, he's got like a big blue bag on. Oh, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him. He's down, he's down. Yeah, this dude's got some shit on him in his bag. Oh, sleeping bag. That's just like half a million right there. Yeah. Another group had just beaten us to the locked crate, but it didn't matter because we killed them and took everything they got out of it, including some nice sleeping bags that were worth a lot of money and allowed us to spawn at our base. Once back home, we added a few other storages to have some more space for guns, and then we made our way back out when we heard an airdrop fly overhead. Here it is. Yeah. This God bless us this one time. Let's wait, let's wait a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's not us? No, no, no. Towards clinic, I think. Oh, he's over here. I can kill him in a second if you chill. I see him, I see him. I see you heading out. Where is he? He's in the field. I hit him once. He's running down the hill, running down the hill. Hit him again. Hit, hit him again. He's down, he's down, he's down. Holy shit. 40, he's uncon. I just got hit. Yeah. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna oh. die. He's on the wall. Dead, 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 dead. Oh my god, I'm hitting the fucking movement. Car coming down the road! On me! Dead, dead, dead! I got a car! Holy! Nice, There's one at this barn over here. Hit a air, hit nice. a I'm four. Hell, that shit's gone, buddy. You're running back for nothing. I'm going back to my base, buddy. Say what you wanted to say, buddy. But buddy. what? What, buddy? Fucking pussy. Get a break. I'm a pussy. Straight. I'm a Bye. pussy. I shot kill one of your boys with a pistol. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't I don't know. It says, uh, it says one out of ten. It says one out of ten. Yeah, you uh, guys. One of you, you died. One of you guys died, bitch. Nah, I'm gonna take him out. Uh, are you following? <laughs> yeah. Someone got to enforce the rules out here, man. This guy's name was Ronnie and he was part of the group that we had just fought and carjacked at the airdrop moments ago. He was leaving the outpost and running back towards our old base. At the time I didn't really think much of this but just remembered this moment because we're gonna come back to this point later on in the adventure. Anyways, after we grabbed the medical airdrop, we made our way back to base and set up a few more storages, but I'm not going to show you too much of this because like I said, this is not the main base. We still have a long ways to go. After organizing, we made our way towards the city of Waldeboro where our boat was parked, and we also had a few keys to the research facility there, which spawned some pretty good items. Oh, shots, shots, shots. Oh, shots. Build one. Where are they, far? No, 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 right at the base of the mountain. Oh, he's shooting at me right now. Good one. Good shots, man, good shots, I'm coming. This guy was kind of fresh though, bro. Yeah, oh, they're all on me! Right. I'm on con! No way. There's two more. On your body? Four. Yeah. Like there's, an, there's no, there's three more, three more. What, there's, they're pushing us, they're pushing us. There's even You're more. There's even... Down there. I'm, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. I hit him. I think, I think he's dead though. There's a geared one near me somewhere. I killed I kill the guy. I killed the guy. Yeah. I got the kid down here. They can spawn in town on repeat, so... Yeah, I know. Killed another. That's not geared, though. Not a geared guy. I hit this guy inside a couple times. 
Is Garrett or is he just like a oh, shit? He has a he has like a raid bag on and shit. Yes, he's upstairs. Yeah. He's not on this side. He's on this side. They don't teach that, man. They don't teach that in uh, anywhere really. Oh, it's a shotgunner, shotgunner. You got him? Yeah, he's dead. I found one of Shrimp's bodies. Another one dead. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. How close, am, how close am I? He's running left. Down the hill. Down the hill? He's running down a little bit, yeah. Oh, I see him, I see him. I'm coming up behind him. Hit him, hit him, he's hurt. You hit him? Hit twice, hit twice. He's low, you're on him, you're on him. Oh, he's on a tree! Oh my god. He's literally I in the put most a mag into spot you've ever seen, man. Killed one. Yeah, I'm gonna go on con. I don't have any ammo. He's running. I killed him, killed him, killed him. And you killed ah. one, right, Bubba? Come killed on. one. So much trees, man. That's CK Savage. That's your G's, man. Who's this? This guy's fucking loaded, bro. Ophthalmo scopes. Big Jake. It's Big Jake right here. Actual full inventory of the salvos. During this fight, we ran into our two enemies, Big Jake's group and Shrimp's team, and we were able to defeat both of them. Not only did we get fantastic guns and armor off of them, but we got a bunch of sellables that could make us millions. After all of this PvP, we hit a few keys around the area and then made our way back home to log out for the night as it was getting late. After beating Big Jake again, he was not going to be happy. In fact, he was already pretty pissed off at us because we logged out with our loot. To further explain, at the time of this recording, this Daisy server was probably the only one out that had a rule where you couldn't log out with anything when you logged off for the night. Now if you think about this rule, who would benefit the most from this? There's a reason no other server has this rule, it's almost unenforceable, and like I said, it only serves to benefit one person, and that would be Jake. We were almost positive that Jake was the one that got the admins to even make a stupid rule like this in the first place, so he could always offline at 5am and get everybody's valuables. Mind you, this entire time, this guy knew exactly where we lived, and we're gonna get into exactly how he knew later on, because there is some twists in this story, and let's just say it's gonna be a little bit messy. But he knew exactly where we lived, he could have onlined us at any point, but he knew he would not win that. That's why he was upset this rule was removed, he couldn't get our loot for free when we were offline. At this point, we started calling him the Goblin King because his greed knew no end, and it was only a matter of time before I'd be kicking his door down. But to do that, we would need some C4. So we logged off for the night, and got on early the next day, to do some looting. You might not believe what I'm about to tell you, but I logged in the next morning and our base was somehow still there. It was quite early and Chopper was the only one online, so we took this opportunity to run as a duo and try to go hit some airdrops to get some quick C4. Yeah, it's hard to see, but I saw him for a second on that corner. Ah, I see him, I see him, there. Yeah. That's a free kill, bro. I know. You want to take him out or? Uh, when he gets to the drop. Ready? Now, go for it. Okay. No damage. Question mark. Key him, I guess, man. Yeah, we just got to came. We just got to came. Did we just literally just shoot through him? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god. I think that's our boy. Yeah, he was, yeah. All right. Um,. Okay, I got the MRAD and the homemade. So you got one homemade off of it, pretty much. One homemade, yeah. Which is good, I think. Yeah, it's alright, you know. I won't complain. Oh, I think I see him. Yeah, I see him. He's running. He's running down the, like, down the train track, oh, yeah, pretty much. In. I think there's two. Two, 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 two. He just jumped. He just jumped. Yeah. I'm going to go right here. Same, same. I'm with you. Oh, guy, guy, guy here in front of me. He's lasered. He's dead. He's full dead, full dead. Good shots. These guys are going to pull up now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. They got to be down here. Yeah. Oh. 
I'm stun locked. I'm stun locked. What? You dead? I'm on con. He's gonna finish me. I'm out. Uh, he can't see you. He's west. Just run. Just run. Just run. Uh, killed one. I'm gonna shot behind. Killed one, full geared. Yeah, killed one. Finish this guy. Oh, here on me. Dead, 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 dead. Oh There's no, he's still alive. Dead. God, you're a beast, man. I think there's one more. I, I, I wouldn't doubt it, dude. I really don't doubt it. Uh, you have stim stack. Oh, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. He's aiming at wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, like towards like uh, east, like on the rock right here, close. I hit him. He's dead, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I feel like there's one more on top of that. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, this is like five already, dude. Yeah, I know. After fighting this five man, we made our way back to base to grab all of our best stuff, and then we loaded it into our car to head up north. Our plan was to build a massive underground bunker somewhere in the northwestern island chains, but on the way up, we had to drive through the swamp, and that's when we heard a helicopter landing. The pilot was alone for some reason and he didn't have too much gear so he was pretty easy to deal with and after I got into the pilot's seat and flew off to a random island to park this for the time being. I'll be honest I didn't hide the heli in the best spot and it ended up getting stolen very soon after but that didn't really matter for us because we still had a boat that we could get to the islands with. After some time scouting around we ended up settling with one of the easternmost small islands that would allow us to swim back to the mainland if our boat ended up getting stolen or lost. This island was also really good because there weren't many structures that people could move into, meaning that we would most likely be the only people living here for the rest of the wipe. Oh, that's not bad, dude. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's going to be real hidden. I'm going in. Let's check out our new home. Let's go. Dude, this looks more spacious than what we got right now. Into the back cave, <laughs> he upgrades in front. Yeah. Oh. Wow! Waterfall and shit in the corner. Oh, oh, oh. that's not too bad. That, that, that's not too shabby. Damn. Oh. Little, little ambient glow over here. There you go. Our base was now upgraded to the second tier, but we didn't want to stop here. We wanted it to be a full concrete bunker, and to do that, we were gonna have to find concrete bricks. So we hit the Western Island chains once again. Once all was said and done and we found everything we needed, we got back home and did our final upgrade. <gasps> Whoa! Oh. Wait a minute now. That's it. Okay. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait a minute, okay. wait a minute now. We're gate stacking the hell out of this. <laughs> yeah, that was as far as I was I... and this was as far as I Thanks for your help, man. That's all we needed from you. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we can make the place look nice, organize it, you know. There's a guy here. Hey, buddy. Let's go down. Put the gun down. Drop the gun. Is he dead? Is he dead? Drop the gun. No, I'm talking to him. I'm, we're in a standoff. He, he's dropping his gear. All right, buddy. Nice city. Don't run. Don't run. I'm not, it. I'm not going to shoot you, man. Don't worry. What are you doing out here? Oh um, man, I bet uh, do you speak English. Sorry. Okay, my friend. There's some Pick food that on up, the man. ground there, buddy. It's for you, my friend. Take it, take Pick it. Pick it all up. Oh, take it. Thanks, man. Yeah, no worries, man. Bye. Okay, Bye. thank you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye, man. After having an encounter with a friendly player on our island, we got back inside the bunker and carried on working on some upgrades. Our final base design would force anybody entering to crouch all the way down a long tunnel in which we could throw grenades and also peek down from above. It was a pretty complex hold and almost impossible to online raid. Now that the main base was pretty much finished, it was time to head back to the mainland and our first order of business here would be to go back and check on our original base. Now, if you remember from earlier, a guy named Shrimp and his group were trying to live there and we ended up taking it back. But last time we were around that area, we ran into another guy named Ronnie that was leaving the safe zone. When we encountered him, he said he was running back to his base and the way he was running was directly towards our old base location. So we thought he might be involved with Shrimp's group and if that was the case, we could not let them live at our old location. Lock in chat, lock in. There is a light or something, I think. 
Yeah, it's on right yeah, now. Yeah, I saw it. Well, it's like underground uh, though. It's coming up. Oh, they opened the door. Oh, it might be coming out. Oh yeah, here, here. It's door closed. We committing? It's yeah. open. It's open here. Okay. Lights. Oh, yeah. That's a weapon light. He's on con. Yep. Blow it. Just put the C4 on. Yeah. Someone's to the to the left. I don't know if he's under. Surrender now, otherwise you die. Surrender now. Someone's out here. I swear to God, he's behind us. There he is. There might be people down here still. Yeah, there is. There is. There will be. Yeah. It's, there's a guy below. There's a guy below for sure. I bet there is. Surrender, pal. Otherwise, you die. He's in the corner there. You guys are fucking dogs. Okay. Eh? Why, why are you? Eh? Why are you talking? We you guys are fucking dogs. We have fucking nothing. Hey. Are you AO and shit? In this corner, in this corner! Dead, 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 dead. Oh my god, we just came in like the fucking Navy Seals. Oh, that was so sick. <laughs> that was so fucking sick, bro. <laughs> As we expected, Ronnie's group had indeed moved into our old base and they had a decent amount of stuff. My initial plan was to take all of this stuff and then seal off this base so that nobody else could move inside. But then we thought about this for a second. Maybe Ronnie's group knew exactly where Shrimp lived. If they gave us this information, we would be willing to give them all of their gear back and let them keep this base. Yo man. Hey, who's this? Coming in. That side. Who's this? All right, come on inside. No gun in your hand, otherwise shit's gonna get hairy for you. Nah, I don't gotta, I don't gotta gun them fresh. Fresh as I get. I fresh as death, you know what I'm saying? I said easy. St all right, Yeah, all right. just stay by the door there. Stay by the door, we don't want any business. Yeah, all right, you're just gonna give us some information, then you just get your base. Scott free. I'll even give you a code lock. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, you know where food. shrimp lives, man? Shrimp? Uh, maybe. You tell us where he lives. We'll give some supplies to rebuild. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you the supplies to rebuild if you want. What kind of supplies? Some nails? We're talking nails yeah. right now? Yeah, I'll give you a box of nails. Look, bro, you help us out. We'll help box? You okay? Whatever you need. You tell you're us gonna, where he You're lives? not going to sell out fucking some random team for one, one box? Well, to be honest with you, we're kind of cool as shrimp, not going to lie. But I would do it for the right what? price, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Almost positive that they live in um in Hazelands. Oh, okay. okay. Alright, shit down at the bottom. Alright, right. boys. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah, wait down here. Good. Yeah, wait down here, buddy. Just in case. Later. These guys told us that Shrimp's group lived just down the road at the town of Hazelands. We headed down there and ran around for a few hours, but I'm gonna spare you from watching that footage because nothing crazy really happened. The only major base we found belonged to an entirely different team, and we knew that this guy completely lied to us. We could have went back and attacked them again or raided them the second time, but there was no point of bothering these guys because they didn't really have too much gear to begin with, so we just let them be. As far as the shrimp situation went, he refused to give us his base location in the chat, even though he was talking all this trash and they had just as many if not more group members than we did. It was going to be tricky, but I thought of a perfect way to lure this guy out of whatever hole he had been hiding in. Oh, shrimp's on, willing to buy through the raid. Mm. Willing to buy through? Bruh, maybe we bait him to save zone right now, see what he does. Follow him out. Like, actually, if I reply and say, I'll sell you one, he'll I'll meet me at outpost, he'll come over, you know what I mean? Yeah. This was a rare situation for us because Shrimp was looking to buy some 338 ammo. If I could quickly change my name, log back in, and lure him into that outpost, we would have eyes on him. As long as he showed up here, we could easily follow him back out and see exactly where his base was. Or even in a best case scenario, we could even kill him right outside of the outpost. All right, the trap has been set. Now let's see if the, see if the rodent replies. He said, I'll give you 150k for them. So I'll say yes. And I'll say, meet me at Outpost. And I'm going to change my name back. 
to like something else and we'll just wait and when he walks in he'll be looking around for me you know what i'm saying yeah yeah that works yeah, yeah. so far the plan was going great as i changed my name back chopper told me that he spotted shrimp in the outpost now all we had to do was find him and follow him out where is he at the moment i'll also get an angle quest okay is that him climbing the tank yeah okay i see him all right wait is this this isn't his tank right no surely not that's some that's not a real tank no the vodnik oh you think that's him you just want to side it is oh my god I'm, I'm going north i'm going north that's where he came out from go 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 like i think the best bet is you know the bridge uh-huh i think that's probably the best place to hold so was he driving yet or no 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 yet oh what vehicle driving you gotta kill him now is he coming hey hey he ran me over. He ran me over, bro. It's armored. Oh, he didn't see me. He didn't see me. He didn't see me. Is he going to stop? I think so. I had him. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. I had him. For sure. He just on con. Yeah, he's driving because I hit him. Just Fuck, loot your man. shit. Just yeah, I'm looting. I'm looting. Dude, I'm still 90 HP. It's like, you're still 90 HP. EVL does get pretty close though. Just loot your shit. It's fun. Yeah, I'm looting. I'm looting. Wait, he just turned into the woods. He turned. He turned right up to power plant. Turned right, power plant. Okay, that's good though. That's good. That's good to know. So he lives in the north then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, keep following. Keep following. Because we're gonna find his garage, or we're gonna find something to indicate where he lives. Oh, he stopped here. I just killed him. No shot, you killed him. I killed him. I'm coming, I'm coming. We gotta take that shit. Wait, why'd he stop here? Was he still in the car? I, yeah, I got it. No way, get in, get in, get in. I killed him. Pull him, pull him. Let's go, get in, get I in. I got the khaki, I got the khaki. It's locked, it's locked. You got it? Yeah. I can unlock it. Here you go. No way. No way. Get his body. Okay, Are we just I'm, driving off? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm just gonna drive it forward so you can loot it and then we'll go. Life sure is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, should we see him and say something right now? Yeah, oh. maybe I say it. I don't know. It's up to you. We can say a few words. You know what I mean? Thanks for the thanks for the twenty billion dollar track, bozo. <laughs> Yo, what's what's shrimp? Of bozo. Where is he? What's shrimp? Shut up, dude. Nobody gives a. Ha <laughs> You got rolled. I'm gonna kill you over and over, and I'm gonna take the nails off your fucking wall every single base that you build remember my name remember me shrimp wanted us to remember him and so we did this was honestly revenge for him talking like that to baba because baba's the nicest person and to talk to him like that is really messed up anyways we took his million dollar tank and all of his gear and got out of there we would end up selling the tank about half an hour later because we didn't really need one and it wasn't armored as you guys saw so it was better to just keep cash from this point forward, we didn't hear or see much of Shrimp anymore. In fact, minutes after we had robbed him, he rage quit and went off to play Valorant. So you could say this chapter that involved Shrimp and our old base was closed. Right after the robbery, we made our way back north towards our island, and on the way we found a boat, which I decided to steal because otherwise we were going to have to swim all the way over there, and that takes quite a while. This may not seem like an important thing, but the reason I'm including it is that this is actually a monumental moment leading up to us encountering Jake for the final time. So what happened was that we found a random boat parked in the middle of nowhere. I used my lockpick to boat jack it, and inside, I found a surprising amount of gear. Ah, oh, I got it. Perfect. Nice. Oh my. What? Oh, this gear. Not crazy, not crazy. I don't want to get you excited. There's like AR 15, AKs. I'll meet you up the like uh, river. Ah, okay. Let me take the shit out. Is his head like an almost full NBC suit, too, by the way? Nice. So I think, they, I think they're basing. Yeah, gloves, everything. They've been basing there. They've been running oil. So there's definitely going to be a base somewhere in the jungle. And I'm going to go and find it. The main reason I suspected that there must have been a hidden underground base in this area was that there was no buildings for kilometers around and there was two boats parked right on the shore. There was simply no other explanation, especially since these boats had NBC gear. NBC gear meant that whoever was living around here was heading over to the oil rigs into the toxic zone to get C4, which further made me want to find wherever this base was. 
For now, I just marked this area on the map and we would come back later with the whole team to search around the forest floor for any secret hatches. Later on this day, we went over to Jake's base to scout it out. Initially, we thought that we would have enough C4 to raid him, but now it was looking like quite the opposite. Within a day of us attacking him, he had built a mega compound. We were surprised to see that he had almost unlimited nails and resources compared to everybody else on the server, including us. We had killed probably just as many, if not more people. We hadn't lost a fight yet. We had hit almost every event and we didn't have a fraction of the stuff he had. This seemed to be pretty strange to me, but I didn't really know exactly what was going on behind the scenes. So I went to Trader, I found their group, and I specifically asked them if there was something going on. Do you, do you guys not play with an admin on your team or a moderator? Are you saying you don't? We play with, uh, we play with two mods. You play with two mods. Does that mod have access to any type of um, anything in game? Not on their current accounts. On their other accounts, they do. Like, imagine I was playing with a fucking admin who could see everything. Like, do you think that'd be fair? You know what I mean? No, it, I mean it wouldn't be fair. Like, so why do you guys get? Why do you guys? But how do we know you don't have that information? You know what I mean? I mean, I, I told you. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I understand your point of view. Suddenly, it all started to make sense. The way these guys found our base on the first night on the server, the way they seemed to be able to just raid carelessly, having unlimited resources and unlimited nails to build. It was good to know that we ended up being right in the end and this was no coincidence. Now that we knew Jake had admins on the team, we began to worry that we might never have enough C4 to raid these guys. But only time would tell. For now, all we could do was keep on PvPing and hitting locked rooms to make money and get C4 as fast as possible. Question: that um, Why is that? Why is that dead guys and a guy over there across? Whoa! 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's go! What the fuck? Get boy! Oh, are they the looking at us? <laughs> is that your boys? He's there. One's there. One's there. Oh my god! F He's in the trees right yeah. now, looking at us. We just fought some people. Go, 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 go. Is that him in the, the tree? Or is that a body? Probably. There's a body in the tree. Oh, it's a bag. It's a bag. It's a bag. Oh! <laughs> Might be loot. Nothing in the bag. Nothing in the bag. Stick together, fellas. Another dead guy. Northeast. Other tree line. Yeah. I oh, guy in a tree. Oh, dead. Is he dead? He's not dead. Where is he? Really? On me. I'm gonna put him down. He's, he's down, he's down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. bro, look in that bag. There's litter with grizzlies. Oh, gear that's still right in front of him. Oh, ping, oh, ping. He's coming, he's coming. Yeah, oh. go to bed, buddy. Go to bed. Find me. He's on an M4. He's been sitting in a tree. Yeah, he's on the beach side. He's on the beach side. Beach side, beach side. Hit him a bunch. I think there's another one. There's another one wearing blue in this tree right here, like near me. In front of me right now. Unless I killed him. You got him? Yeah, yeah, they're done. Between our PvP and key runs, we got pretty far. We had about 4 million in cash and a decent amount of explosives, but we still didn't know if this was going to be enough to raid Jake. Before we committed to the raid, I wanted to check one final spot, and that was the hidden underground base that I suspected was in the forest south of us. If you remember, there was a parked boat here with a bunch of NBC stuff. If my theory was correct, and there was indeed a base here, it could be loaded with C4. It's just, it's gonna be impossible to find here, man. It's like picking a needle out of a haystack, you know? Found it. Now nah, look at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped that in my tracks. Uh, did you guys drop shit on the ground? No. Okay, well, I've got drop shit on me right here, like a mask and shit. Oh, I found it! I found it! Wow. I swear oh. my life. Where, where, where? Nah, where are you? He's a little weed. Yeah, on me. Oh, shot your line, bro. He's oh, a little weed. Not. Wait, what, what is there? Droppings? Oh, that thing's tucked away, dude. Come here, bro. There's droppings. <laughs> it's rad droppings, man. Wait, wait, they've been building. Three, two, Who's one. In? Go, 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 go! I'm in. We're all dead. We're all dead. Oh. Whoa. Oh. oh. Nice. I see a PKP or something. There's this shit's locked. Oh. No shot. It's locked, man. It's got to be something. Some of them are locked. Okay, oh. we, I have another hacksaw. It's fine. I'm opening the pallet frame. Let's just be patient here. Oh, a lot of meds. Okay, okay. They have a they have a carpet. Take the carpet. What the hell? 
Now we're after the big gear. This dude worried about the cap it. Oh, there we go, man. Oh, NBC gear for days. That's worth. Like that's actually worth. That's pretty good, yeah. That's pretty good. All right. <laughs> Unreached all content on this. Look in there. Look in there. What's in there, man? I don't see shit. Yeah. Maybe you. Uh, oh. Maybe you... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I can't see. What's in there? Is, uh, it, it's not that deep. I'll give you a look, though. That's worth, boys. That's. I didn't know we could see in there. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, bag. Oh, oh, I thought that was our bag. No. Oh, it's not. my gosh. <laughs> no shot. Yeah, we go. We go Jake space right now. I swear. I swear on my life. We go. We, we do pack. it. Yeah. Whatever this you. was. May God bless you in future adventures, man. <laughs> but I need this. Not only was my hunch correct, but this base was loaded. With the eight heavy breaching charges we got out of this, we could combine it with the C4 we already had, and there's a good chance we'd have enough to demolish Jake's entire base. This single moment made up for the countless hours we had spent in the past days struggling to find materials and dealing with countless bugs and issues on the server. And now, with the proper tools in our hands, it was time to restore the server to its natural order by wiping this guy out for good. Today is the day that boys it's begun, men. Just remember all this chit chat. Give it 10 minutes. Give it 10 minutes. I think we have to get up on here. Oh, we good? There's one down the rock, on the rock. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Smoke them. Wow. Good shit, good shit, boys, good shit. All right, we need to throw these guns away because it's him. Who is it? CK Savage. That's them. Shall we go? Jake and his crew knew that we were coming and they tried to set up an ambush, but we easily defeated them and carried on raiding the base. Get ready, get ready, boys, get ready. Oh man, next. Go. Cover me, cover me. Yeah, I got you. Let me in. I only got a mini. It's already crossed. Yeah, okay, I got a homemade. I want to play. Yeah, 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 go for it. Uh, quiet. Quiet. Uh, I'll put a heavy, I'll put a heavy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tier two now. Not the tip. Okay. Oh, what the f we're firing. Okay, this can empty down here. This is end. So, loot's the other way then. Yeah. Yep. Tell me it's no more tier threes, man. I mean, it could be fucking ten more. That's what I'm saying. Like these dudes, yeah, these dudes got all the help they can need. Yeah. Yeah, they got limited resources. Ah, don't be a tier three. Tier two. Okay, it's yeah. manageable. What? Dude, there's already no way, bro. Yeah, this is kind of like. There's already nice. no shot. <laughs> what else is there to say? They played the heavens, bro. You see any other bases with this type of shit? One of them sniping right now in the woods. Yeah, we need to push out. He's geared up in the woods right now. Uh, He's okay. running up the hill. Uh, like I don't know what that direction that is. Where's the gear guy? Your guy's up like where I'm looking. I don't know if you can see where I'm looking. He's way up on the ridge line, like the, the mountain line. We figured these guys might have a lot of gates, but we never expected this many. We used all of the C4 we had and Chopper had to run back to base, get on the helicopter and go run the oil rig to try to get some more. In the meantime, I would hold the inside of the base in case any of them logged in and the rest of the boys would hold the outside. And let me tell you, it was a slaughter. Another one on me. It's inside, inside. No? it's inside, I don't know. One logged in, one logged in. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I was the uh, f***ing bullets was ghosting. What the fuck went down over here, bro? It's like 300, the this is the mountain pass Keep right coming. here. That ain't nothing. 
I missed the whole battle and I was tucked in the cave, man. There's more. What? It came out with this many people and they all lost. <laughs> look at where look at look at this, bro. Keep looking. What the f They're all scattered in the woods too, man. Dude's out in the water taking the swim. Oh yeah, more over There's here. There's more over here. I made you kill. I crashed. I actually just crashed. My game ended up crashing at the worst possible time, but the boys ended up getting back with a few more C4 and we carried on raiding through the gates. Oh, we're in! Oh, it's done! Oh, baby! Is this main loot? Oh, we're actually deep. We're actually deep. Wow. Oh, they have uh they have locked shit though. They have locked shit. Yeah, I don't I don't give a damn. They're looking kinda of broke. I'll break this open right now. Let's see, yeah, some gear here and there. You know, nothing crazy. No shot, they log with everything, bro. Yeah. They did. They did. They did. They did. They did. Wow. And they're talking they crazy did. and they log with shit. Uh, bro, they didn't even come back on to defend their base. No, they probably logged, because you guys were having a war. They probably logged in, took everything of value and logged. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we should we should definitely, like, try and see if that's the case. Oh, what do you, they have two admins on their team. What, what are you going to see? I don't even give a f about it. Dismantle all of this oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, that's all I needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although Fat Jake offlined us and probably the rest of the server multiple times, we offered him an online. He had every opportunity to defend his land. He had admins on his team. He had unlimited resources. He had an easy hold in the cave and they even had other allies on the map. But in the end, only a few of his teammates fought. So I have my respect to CK Savage and the rest of them that actually defended their base and fought us. But as far as Jake goes, he logged in, grabbed everything of value, and logged out. So in the end, we didn't get any of his explosives or really valuable stuff. But we didn't do this raid for the loot. This was about sending a message. This was for all the guys around the map that were getting offline at 5 or 6 a.m. with no chance to counter or defend. For now, Jake's story seemed to end here. And just like that, their base was no more. I suppose this is where our story on Deer Isle comes to an end. It was a great adventure between the PvP raiding we did and even the base location and base design. This would be a story to remember. If you guys watched this far, thank you for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next adventure.